What's up everyone? I'm 23 years old, I'm from Hungary, I'm a natural bodybuilder and I was a BMX rider, or no, like I'm, I'm still a BMX rider but I don't do that competitively. And I, and I do natural bodybuilding competitively. And this is my story. My, my mom and dad big sport fanatics and they, they somewhat forced me to be a swimmer at the years, year of six. Um, it was the same deal with my brother, uh, it was pretty determined so that we have to go swimming. Um, because he told that's the best, uh, the best sport we can do, and uh, and if I look back, it was it was it was a nice sport, but that was not the sport for me. I never really liked swimming that much. I had a few years when I was when I was good in swimming, and I think I liked the community, but but swimming was never never part of my heart. And uh, and when I quit swimming after seven years, I still remember that day when I quit swimming after seven years. I tried to convince my dad to let me quit swimming. Um, and he eventually told me that like do whatever I want to I can quit swimming if I want to because in those days I was doing it competitively and I was quite hesitant sometimes I asked him if I can quit and he was like yeah you know like I think you should not you already invested a lot of time so I was just like I just like stayed there and like kept swimming I don't really mind uh, but it, it could have been really good if I if I if I started with something else I was really into I when I quit swimming uh, I wanted to do something else and I realized that like the investment I made like seven years from my life um, that seems crazy at the age of like how much was I like I think I was only 14 yeah I think I was 14 so the year at the age of 14 that's that's half of your life and I was thinking oh my god this is crazy uh, I don't know what to do like what sport to do uh, so I eventually kept on kept on uh, the swimming part so I jumped into water polo so I can get use of my swimming knowledge um, and I still remember it was a really great experience. I met a, met a friend called uh, Gergő, and he, he somewhat inspired me to go to play water polo with the team. Um, and it was it was great one and a half year. But while I was doing while I was playing water polo, I started to try long distance running at the same time. And I started to just just as a hobby, just out from fun, I started to like BMX. Um, now what you have to know is. Um, a BMX bike is really expensive for a 50 year old guy, so I was cool. I was just like, cool. I was just trying to save a lot of money so I can buy a bike for like half a year. I was just like telling Granny and and Mom and Dad and everyone that if they want to give me a present, just give me money because I'm cool. Uh, because I'm saving for a BMX bike. That's how I ended up buying a BMX. Uh, I think that was at the age of 15, and and I told Dad that I'm quitting uh, water polo, and he was really angry. He was like, Oh yeah, just trust, just started water polo and now you're quitting that right away and want to jump on another sport which is really dangerous um he, he, he never really liked i, I don't think he, he ever liked uh, me riding bmx i had a lot of crashes and uh, yeah i had like several injuries so i think that's fair uh from his part like, i can understand him as a parent but but he couldn't stop me <laughs> i was i was just about to start bmx and i convinced myself that i'm gonna be a bmx rider no matter what and that's what i did <laughs> now the way we started, I was, I wouldn't say I was shy, but I was scared of the other guys. Meaning, we went out to the skate park with two of my friends every single morning at 6 a.m. because the skate park was empty at that time and kept on riding BMX until like uh, 9, 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. when the others started to gather around. So we just went home right away. We were like, no, 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 like there are a lot of people that are like guys with tattoo and uh, and like hardcore like skaters and BMX riders and they like must be like really underground heavy faced guys you know like all tattooed muscles um, and I was yeah I just had this image in my mind that they are like all not not really kind guys and they will like make fun of us if we crash or something like that uh, <laughs> and if I think back it's crazy how wrong I was because because those guys eventually became one of my best best friends and they just helped me so much um, on my BMX journey. Uh, at this point, I just want to thank you for all of you guys like, who know me and rode BMX with me. I'm, I'm so grateful that I met you. Um, and even though I'm like, like, things change now. I'm not not in my hometown. We're not riding together. Um, I still, I still feel like I'm part of that community, and I feel like it's a huge family. And um, and we can help each other uh, all over the globe if you have the opportunity to do so. So yeah, that was that was my journey of BMX. Uh, I was riding hardcore BMX for like three and a half years. Then I got injured. This joint. Got got smashed, and um, the doctor says I wouldn't be able to ride again. Um, and they were partially right. What they were wrong about, I could ride, I can ride now, um, but I cannot ride more than like two times per week, uh, which is not too much to be honest. So like first, I couldn't ride BMX for like half a year, uh, except one breakup. Um, that was the most uh, depressing um, part of my life uh, when I couldn't ride BMX and. 
every single month I told that it's gonna be only one month and then I'm just gonna jump back riding BMX and everything is gonna be all right and, uh, and yeah it now happened um, one month one month passed I tried to ride I couldn't another month I couldn't um, then I waited for like two months I was like maybe if I wait like 60 days that's crazy like 60 days it's, it's supposed it's supposed to heal um, but it, but it was not healing um, yeah and and I was, I, it's just hard to explain, like, like BMX was something really, 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 really close to me. I was riding like four, five, six, seven, eight hours every single day. Um, when it was summer holiday, I was just in a skate park all the time. And, and I felt like I belonged there, like, it was crazy. Just, it was such a great feeling when I realized that, that, that like sports, like, especially BMX, but like sports in general mean so much to me. Um, and the reason I felt that because I was pushing really hard, like like made a new trick every single day, got the dopamine, got the, like made my brain to be happy about something that I felt like I can I can make a change, uh, and I got better every single day, and and that's where I decided I want to do this for the rest of my life. Uh, what I didn't know at that time uh, that it might not be BMX forever, but something I really 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 carried on with my personality is the feeling of getting better every single day. Uh, no matter like like in what you are getting better, whether it's some sort of like um, like cognitive um, capability or or just a skill, um, just like having just like getting a new experience can make you uh, make you be better. Like understanding others better, be more empathetic, uh, more positive, um, whatever it is, you know. Um, just 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 be a better human being uh, and be a better yourself, a better version of yourself every single day. I think this is something really, really important for our generation, and and I don't know how to teach this for uh, for others to enjoy. Um, maybe it's just something part of my personality, and I'm just about to figure out. I'm trying to figure this out, or or maybe it's something uh, something teachable. And if it if it is, um, I just want to want to do that. If at the end of the journey I can just like help like a ten or like a hundred people, that would mean the world for me. So yeah, that's the reason I'm putting actually on myself over here back because like I already went like everywhere in this topic. Yeah, I couldn't ride BMX. I was really sad, and that time I was like, "Fuck it, I have to find another sport." I was playing a little bit soccer before, so it was like soccer, swimming. I tried kickboxing for like two months, but I was like not my thing. I didn't like to hurt like others, and then, and then yeah, like water polo, and that was when I found out about bodybuilding. <laughs> back in those days, it was like my goal was not bodybuilding. Um, my goal was to just like get a bit stronger so when I go back riding BMX I can be like more powerful, I can do the tricks faster, I can I can just like tolerate more more pain, or I can, I can like uh, get like a stronger body so I would be like more resistant against injuries. And first I started lifting without like any um, knowledge about how to eat properly or, or how to train properly. I was just like doing a bunch of random things uh, one after another, just trying to do something. Um, because when I was there lifting a little bit, I was really angry, I had a lot of anger inside me and depression. So I felt I'm like, I'm like getting rid of the anger, getting rid of that depression, getting to the next level of well-being. And it felt amazing. Finally I felt like I'm not, not that angry anymore, not that depressed. Uh, but all, 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 the dudes, all the dudes around me were like, yeah, well, like this dude is really crazy. Like he's like screaming, shouting, like, you know, like pressing like really light weights and like training for like two, two and a half hour. And he's like, sometimes he comes to the gym like two times. Like, well, hell dude, that's overtraining. Um, yeah, that's, that's, another, that's gonna be another tro topic. Like what is actually overtraining and what is not. Um, I think that's, that's like so, so crazy what is out on, in, on, in the internet about overtraining. So many bullshit. So yeah, I was like overtraining <laughs> a lot in those days. Uh, get rid of my depression um, I started to feel better and try to go back riding BMX, but I, ju I just couldn't do that So I just kept on doing this fitness thing. I sort of feel like I'm improving like I start to see visible changes on my body And then I, I don't really remember when it caught me uh, All I remember is I was just like started to watch YouTube channels of like guys lifting and and like getting that image that they like they look like so aesthetic so, and and they're just like having so much fun like but even picking up the girls, um, going to festivals, and to just like look like a Greek god, I was like, oh my god, that's that's like so epic. I wonder how much it would take to get there. I started to collect like data, count my weight in the morning, in the evening, cooking more, eating more, and um, learned how to cook like a proper rice, chicken, um, eating wedges. Like I tried a lot of things, and and they worked. <laughs> I was really consistent. I was going to the gym like six times a week, eating at least like five, six times because that was written that you have to eat that much. 
Uh, so yeah, I was just like consistently doing that. And I gained like 10 kilogram of pure muscle mass in first year. And I was like, oh my god, this is, that was crazy. That was epic. I just couldn't know at that time that if I keep, keep going for like another four years, <laughs> that's when I'm gonna get another 10 kilogram. Uh, but that's another story again. Yeah, like 10 kilograms the first year. I was super, super happy about that. And I just kept on going, because like, I was like, why not? Like, why not keep going? I couldn't go back to riding BMX, but, but this is something really interesting. And I really get into the habit. Get like a, an easier year. I was at the bachelor's, I was doing a commerce and marketing back in Hungary, which was a really, it was not a hard school, so I had like a lot of free time. I was traveling between uh, Vegas Chava and Sega because I had a girlfriend back in those years. Um, and in the leftover time, I was just, I was just pumping iron. Uh, sometimes two times a week when I was in Sagad, I was just lifting all the time. I really loved it. I truly loved it. I was like, sleeping like nine hours, eating 5,000 calories and I do all crazy shit. And I just, I just kept on improving. And in the first one and a half year, I, I, I started to look like really great. And that's when I decided like, oh my God, and I can, I can look like the Greek guys on YouTube. So yeah, I was like, why not? Uh, until I couldn't write. Uh, maybe I do it for another year, then I can ride BMX. And like, this was like one and a half year in, so I started riding BMX a little bit. But I came to the realization I lost some... Uh, I think I just lost something in the one and a half year. Um, because when I went back, I was not that brave. I was... I had like... My, my tricks was like a little bit sketchy sometimes. I was not enjoying that anymore. Um, I still got my... I still got my hand hurting sometimes, so... I had like really great sessions, but when I crashed... Um, it just got like really red and big and I couldn't ride for like two weeks, so... So I, so I decided that I'm not gonna keep on keep on doing this with myself, so... I just, I just like kept BMX what it, what it was supposed to be, to be my hobby. Um, and I rode like one to two times a week. It was probably enough to, to just keep up the, um, the level where I was. I couldn't, couldn't really improve my tricks, but I kept on the level. Uh, because I really loved it. I still can do a backflip, I still can do a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, it was, it, it, was, it was my decision to keep it that way. And, and start to focus more on bodybuilding.